is Vito. I'm Chloe. George. What's that? I don't know. I have a feeling my parents gave it to me. For that reason, I keep it. This is the journal of Chloe Samway, age 14, and her brother George, age 12, survivors of the SS Rio. We can show you in a missing will. gallons are burnt every day to power cities, vehicles, ships and planes. These days it's in short supply, so it's worth a lot of money. <laughs> your old company will pay me a lot to break the law. You really think you find something, eh? Our uncle Lazarus was a petroleum biologist. He looked for oil so he travelled a lot. He was an explorer, a scientist and a hard-nosed businessman. He was the only family we had. So a lot of the time we went with him. On the 20th of August, we touched down on the Canary Islands. to ever rip the waves. and everything they needed, but it also brought the fog. They were cut off from the rest of the world, and now so were we. Change is coming, and the outsiders may have something to do with it. They always spared your lives, though you'll never be able to leave Kalima Island. What have we got to go back to? Hello, TV, the Premier League, Facebook! <laughs> You'll have to forget the outsider ways. The sun, she burns for us and gives us all the energy we need. Now you're talking still alive. Sure. Jack Waco, owner of Waco Oil, had made the journey with his family. He had come all the way from Texas searching for the missing will. What are we going to do about the boat? Marcy, honey, you worry too much. Everyone wants money. Everyone needs money. I'm the bring prosperity to this rock. Nate, no one's going to turn that down. Another one. Woohoo! Looks like we've hit the jackpot, folks. 
We must take the stone tonight. Veto, please, for everyone. You have made the crows an angry. We have to do something. We bring you the exclusive story of the, the missing world. world. I'm so excited!